Hi. This love writing is going to be for Capricorn. Hi, Capricorn. All right. <coughs> we going to dive right in. Oh, let me clear your energy space. One second. Okay, so I have a new deck, and I did a deck review on it, so if you are curious about the Oracle deck that I'm going to use at the end, watch the review. <laughs> it's called Who. <coughs> Excuse me. And it'll give you character traits about your person. Okay? So, whoever that person may be. All right, so we're reading now for Capricorn. What do we got for Capricorn? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Eight cards for Cappy. What are you rushing into? <laughs> Knight of Swords, gung ho. Here I go. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. I'm not going to say anything yet. I'm just going to keep shoveling. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? So let me tell you, depending on who this reading is for, if you are a divine feminine... <laughs> you have someone coming in like a bat out of hell. We got Knight of Swords and Knight of Wands. The energy of two rash ass motherfuckers. Okay. Coming in all crazy breakneck speed because they know that you're the high priestess. <laughs> now, if I'm reading for this divine masculine, you're coming in like a bat out of hell because you realize... <laughs> That's a high priestess. Maybe you didn't notice it before, but you see it now. <laughs> so funny. I mean, we got two, two cards. Two cards of a motherfucker rushing in on a horse like, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> and in between these two divine masculine energies, that are just riding full throttle to get to this high priestess in the middle. They came out like this, look. This card first, high priestess, knight of wands. <laughs> we got air energy, we got fire energy. So maybe there's two, I don't know. <laughs> oh, that makes me giggle. This, the way that they're both on their horses, they're just like, there's going to be an epic battle for the High Priestess coming soon to a theater near you. <laughs> oh, one, two, three, four. Oh my God, they came out in reverse. <gasps> that is so strange, Capricorn. It came out in reverse and I, I'm, I, Okay. Whenever this happens, I'm always floored because look, all of the cards are right side up. You can see they're all right side up. I literally can show you they're all right side up. Every single one of them. That's the hangman. It's always upside down. Look, they're all right side up. All of them. Every single one. I always am meticulous about making sure I have my cards right side up. It's 404 on my phone. Okay, I'm freaking out. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> so it's the devil card and it came out it came out upside down. I'm not even sure I even know what the devil means in reverse. So I might have to look it up. But it's you. <laughs> the devil's Capricorn energy, isn't it? Okay, now I'm really scared. What in the hell is going on? <laughs> oh shit. I'm gonna pull two more cards. Oh my god. I don't even know what to do right now. I'm totally, I'm totally thrown for a loop. Oh, it came out with death. You're gonna die. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It doesn't, that's not it. I'm so sorry. Oh, I really should have gotten some sleep before I did your reading. 
Oh my god. So we gonna look up with the devil and one last card for Capricorn, please. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. We have map. Oh my God, Capricorn. I'm, I'm starting to get really excited for you. <laughs> I am. Because we have this massive energy of like a fresh start, okay, in your love life. We have the fool, which is shows me like the fool is about starting over, taking a leap of faith. And if you're thinking about taking a leap of faith right now, let me tell you why I'm so excited. Okay. The next card is, I'm sorry, I drank a lot of coffee today. <laughs> The next card is the Wheel of Fortune, okay? Which shows me that fate is in your favor, okay? Luck be a lady tonight, whatever you want to call it. Roll that damn dice on whatever it is you've been thinking about in this Capricorn mind of yours. Take that leap of faith, and I think you're going to do it, okay? I think you know that the wheel has turned and luck is in your favor because here's what I'm going to say. I think the devil in reverse means healing. So breaking free of these addictions and this sort of energy of like imprisoning yourself and being imprisoned in your own mind. And it came out right next to death, which shows me you went through a massive transformation, right? And I think it's because of this high priestess. Like it definitely helped. That energy helped. I don't know who the fuck I'm reading for right now, but I'm freaking out. Let me just tell you, right next to the death card, we have the six of swords, which is like a transition, another transition. So it's like moving on from past energy, things that no longer serve you. Um, it's also, it also represents healing, but it's like moving forward. It, it also represents like, a time of extreme peace and happiness in your life. This is a beautiful energy. I just, I don't understand why you're rushing. <laughs> like, or someone's rushing. There's this energy of like. It feels honestly like there was a divine feminine, which basically just whipped your ass into shape. Can I say that? Does that make sense? Or you, somehow there's a divine feminine in this picture. There's a very heavy energy of, and this, this I don't even know. I don't know if this is going to resonate with anyone, <laughs> okay? But there's this very heavy, heavy, I can't even talk. I'm so fired up right now. <laughs> there's a very heavy energy of, there was a divine feminine which sort of flipped the script in your brain. Like, you've seen her. You, she was unlike anything you've ever seen. And so you just was like, I'm going to get that. And so you started just like working on yourself, healing yourself, um, doing all of these things to sort of improve yourself because you wanted to be on her level. Does that make sense? This is so weird. I know this is probably all my divine feminines are like, eh, we're not watching this. <laughs> if it's just... But here's the thing, divine feminines. If this is your energy, your person is doing this. I mean, look, we got two cards of rushing forward, like wanting to communicate. We got all of these cards. Look, the fool, the wheel of fortune, and they're, they came out in this order. So this one, high priestess, knight of wands, which is, again, forward movement, fire sign, the fool, okay? The Knight of Wands represents growth, too. Look it. It's the, the wand has growth on it. So we got the Fool. We got Wheel of Fortune. The Devil in Reverse. Death. And the Six of Swords. Okay. I need... Excuse me. I'm going to look up what the Devil in Reverse means really quick. One second. <coughs> okay. <coughs> excuse me. This damn throat chakra. Okay, so I looked it up in this book and literally see it says, just as I felt, this is what I meant, what it meant. Like, I didn't know for sure, but it says, release freedom from addictions. Remember I told you, I was like, it feels like you're like freeing yourself from things that were holding you back. 
on the cusp of a breakthrough and liberation. I told you it's freeing yourself. Can I just say how fucking proud I am of you? Okay, that's that's it. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna do some gypsy tarot. <laughs> uh, gypsy tarot. Two cards for Capricorn. I think we're done though, Capricorn. I think I'm gonna use my catchphrase. I'm so impressed by you. I'm just gonna say, Capricorn, get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> been a while since I used my catchphrase on anyone and I'm gonna use it on you because y'all are fucking fantastic right now okay <laughs> I'm loving this two cards for Capricorn oh my goodness see okay we got number 39 the heart signifies great joy it says great joy Excuse me. It's number 39. It's the heart. It's a human fucking heart. <laughs> the heart signifies great joy. Okay, so 9 and 3. It's number 12. And this is number 37. Add it up and it's 10. It says, The rape peers warn us against assaults. Assaults which threaten and will occur sooner or later. I don't know what that means, but it sounds violent. It says assaults. So be careful. I don't know why that came out in a love reading, but obviously spirit wanted you to hear it or they wouldn't have put it in there. So I don't know. Maybe your ex is crazy and she's going to assault you. I don't know. Run. <laughs> Why are you running? <laughs> I don't know. All right. Um, let's do two of the love oracle cards for Capricorn. Mm. Now, don't run around getting assaulted now. Your energy is so good. You don't want to fuck it up by going to jail. Damn. We got change again. So remember you got death, which is the transformation. I can't talk today. Which is a transformation, right, from the chrysalis into the butterfly, bam. That's why your love life is popping, baby. Mm. Whoa. <laughs> we got secret crush. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta pause this real quick. Whew, sorry about that, Capricorn. I'm out of breath. <laughs> I had to go <laughs> run up and put a baby to back to bed really quick. Okay. It's either really early or really late, depending on where you are in the world. <laughs> okay. So I was just writing down what I'm going to call your reading, so I didn't forget. One more reading after this, <clears throat> and then some sexual energy reads. Okay, so um, before that little interruption, we have this card. So whether that's your energy, your person's energy, I have no damn idea. Um, we're going to throw some romance angels on this. Then I'm going to do your... I am seriously out of breath from running. Um, I didn't want the video to come unpaused. We're going to do this deck, the romance angels, and then we're going to do the... Who, who Oracle, um, and if you're curious about the Oracle, I did do a review on it, and I'm going to post it later on today, so check that out. It'll give you some physical characteristics and just general characteristics about, characteristics about your person. Why can't I talk today? Some throat chakra all fucked up. All right, two cards for Capricorn, please. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Hmm. So, Spirit is telling you, if you're in a relationship right now, to give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. You've worked on yourself. That's clear. So work on your partnership. <laughs> All right. 
The next card we got is, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So for some of you who are single um, and not in a relationship, there is definitely a secret crush. Okay. Take it as it resonates. Or maybe that's your energy. Maybe you have a secret crush. Who knows? Excuse me. My stomach is empty and I'm just like burping all over the place. So this is a card that says give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So for some of you, if you are in a relationship, spirit is saying yes. Like give this relationship a shot. It's, you know, it's worth the fight. Now for you single Capricorns, like I said, we got the secret crush and then we have this. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And we know the highest energy of all and the highest frequency of all is love. Absolutely. Okay, last four cards for Capricorn, please. While I get my breath back. <laughs> uh. Ah. Last four cards for Capricorn, please. Give them some traits about their person. Or the person on their mind. Or, like, if you've just met someone and you're curious as to if this is your person, Spirit's going to let you know. We're going to tap in. Okay. Ooh, that is not good. Narcissistic? That is definitely not good. <laughs> let's hope this isn't your person. <laughs> or let's hope this isn't you. That's a terrible energy. Science and tech. Hmm. <laughs> Your person is an astronaut. <laughs> so funny. I don't like that narcissistic energy. Sports and fitness. Okay. For some of you, please beware of this energy of a narcissist. Okay. If this person that you've met is a narcissist, you need to... You, it is not safe for you to love. <laughs> I'm the, if this if this person you're dealing with right now is a narcissist, I'm going to let you know right now. I'm going to disagree with the romance angels. And I'm going to say, it is not safe for you to love. <laughs> because I know. I have, I was married to a narcissist for four years. Yes, this, this relationship that I am leaving, <laughs> this, um... This marriage that I left, yes. And I have been in other relationships with narcissists. So I know what I'm talking about. And believe me, everything is about them. Always. Like, it doesn't matter what it is. You have some wonderful achievement. They will turn it around and make it about them. <laughs> so I'm just saying. Um, it's very rare that I disagree with some romance angels. But I don't know why this narcissistic card is coming up. I'm just... I'm just letting you know that's that's what came up narcissistic so I don't know maybe it's your energy maybe it's this person you're dealing with now but if if this is your person's energy time to get up <laughs> I'm just gonna say that okay all right so we have science and tech um I don't know so maybe they um are maybe their field is in the science um, maybe they're a computer tech I don't know it shows space so <laughs> they're a space cadet <laughs> maybe they're a starseed I don't know feels very starseed-ish energy um, we have sports and fitness so they're very sporty um, very into like working out and stuff very nice and then we also have self-employed now, take it as it resonates. This could be your energy. This could be your person's energy. Swip swap it um, if you feel so guided to. Obviously, your person is an entrepreneur who... Um, uh, it's a, They're an entrepreneur scientist <laughs> who likes to work out and is very full of shit and full of themselves. I'm just kidding. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, that is your reading, Capricorn. Um, I'm really, really hoping that you guys aren't dealing with this energy because you have no idea how that type of energy will completely destroy lives. 
like, um, I don't know. I just, I have, I have so much experience with narcissists and they, it is really hard to detach from someone like that. So just praying that this is not the energy for you, Capricorn, because I love you. Um, I love my Cappies. I love my earth signs. All right. So if you want to book a reading with me, all you got to do is hit the little arrow. It was just 2020 on my phone. So if you want to book a reading with me, all you got to do is hit the little arrow. It pops up my description box with all of my prices. Please check out my Etsy shop if you feel so guided. My love deck is on sale half off. Check out my son's channel. He's the only featured channel that's, you know, in my description box. He works really hard at his channel and he's an awesome little guy. Thank you for those of you who have tipped me, who have liked my videos, shared my videos, subscribed. All of those are free. Liking, sharing, subscribing. It's a way to support my channel. It's completely free. Um, there's two ways you can tip me now. So... For those of you that have done that, I really appreciate you all. I love you, Capricorn. Okay, bye.